Hi, my name's Vicky and I work for the National Paralympic Heritage Trust. Today I'm going to share another object from our collection um, and that these are, are actually three objects um, and these objects are actually on display within our Heritage Centre. Because we can't open the Heritage Centre now, I, I'm going to take you in virtually through our 3D modelling platform, which is called Matterport. So if you just bear with me a minute, I need to share the screen with you and bring up our website. Just coming now. And on our website, you can see something that says National Paralympic Heritage Centre, Stoke Mandeville. I'm going to click on that and it's going to take us into a platform called Matterport, which is where we share this virtual museum. You can actually visit this on your own and go around. You can watch all the films, do all the interactives, and there's some kind of dots, as you'll see, in different points where you can focus in and find out more information. The most, all the films have got British Sign Language and there's some audio description as well to help you if you have a visual impairment or um, a hearing impairment as well. So, welcome to the National Paralympic Heritage Centre at Stoke Mandeville Stadium, the birthplace of the Paralympics, um, the third biggest sporting event in the world and, as we would say, the most inspirational. So I'm going to take you into the Heritage Centre. This first display here, there's obviously a welcome. Then the first display here is on Ludwig Gutmann, who was the um, father of the Paralympic Games. He started the Paralympic Games. You can see that we have a timeline. We have a display all about the evolution of sports wheelchairs and Paralympic moments. And then in this case here, we have three Paralympic torches. Why have we chosen torches? We've chosen torches because today, um, or on the 20th of August, which is the day that I'm filming this, would have been the day that the heritage flame was lit at Stoke Mandeville Stadium and then passed on virtually to Tokyo Games for their, for their torch relay leading up to the lighting of the cauldron. Now, um, this event, the, the lighting of the Paralympic Heritage Flame, only began um, with Sochi in 2014. Prior to that, it didn't happen. Although in the Olympics for many, many um, years, the Olympic torch has been lit at the birthplace of the Olympics in Olympia in Greece. And that's been paid for by, by the host nation. So we haven't quite got there in terms of equality, um, I need to push again, but uh, it would have been the day to day that this beautiful torch, I've just got a picture of it, um, which is the Tokyo torch. You can see it's this kind of lovely rose gold um, and at the top it's a flower shape like blossom. Uh, and of course these torches always represent something to do with the culture of the host country. Um, reflections on the Paralympians and the, the, um, the values of the Paralympics. So on the far left, the first torch on display here, that I'm hovering over, is the Winter Paralympic torch from Sochi 2014. And if you look at it, it's, it's rather feather-like in its shape. And of course, Russia, within their wonderful storytelling tradition, have the firebird. Um, although this doesn't look like fire because it's more like ice in the Winter Games, it's very feather like and it is representational of that culture. Then, next to it, you have the beautiful torch from the Rio 2016 Summer Games. And you can see these, these sort of contours. And for people who haven't um, read about it, kind of lots of theories came out, you know, could it be tabletop mountain? Could it be the Amazon River contours? Actually, those contours could be all of those things, but, but what they're supposed to represent is the highs and the lows of a Paralympian's journey. Because 
a, it's, it's always a difficult journey, not just in terms of overcoming issues around the disability, but with any sports person, there's going to be highs and lows, the determination and drive required, and the disappointment when you've spent years and years training and you don't come away with that medal. So it's not an easy journey. Um, and, you know, the fear of, of failure is, can be very big. So, you know, some real thought to it. Then here, you have the Paralympic torch from London 2012, and I've hovered over it so you can see that detail. And you can see all these little holes, oops, all the little holes in it. There were actually 800 of those holes, and each one of them represented one of the 800 people who carried the torch in the relays from Ireland, from Wales, from Scotland, and from England, all the way initially to Stoke Mandeville Stadium, the birthplace of the Paralympics, and then a journey of carriers all the way to the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London to light the cauldron. So an amazing journey. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed that. Do remember that you can come in and visit the Heritage Centre virtually. Um, the final area of the display here focuses on ceremonies. Thank you very much and see you again soon. Bye bye.